Despite what many of us would have hoped, the Rings of Girl Power wasn't just a one-off thing, kind of like a bad joke they played on us, as the second season is apparently getting dumped on us in just a few months. Then again, I guess even Amazon has to take a shit somewhere. They've only just released the trailer for it, and to no one's surprise, it's already been bombed into oblivion with dislikes. The comment section also gives us hope that humanity is not completely lost after all. Everybody already hates it just as much as season one but at least seeing it getting roasted will also be just as entertaining. At any rate, no one may have asked for it, but it's here. So hit the like and subscribe buttons and let us jump right into this steaming pile. Early Doomer. An evil, ancient and powerful has returned. It never left. It was working on this shit show, Oh look, it's the snot monster from Disney Doctor Who's first episode. Prepare yourselves. Get it? It's like the Avengers, but more woke. They worms this way inside your mind. Let the rest of him slit us in. Yeah, propaganda can do that for sure. I think he has been here. I think he's been here among us all along. Wow, it looks like they are finally starting to grow a brain and realize that Sauron has been among them for a whole season. Every soul in Middle-earth is in peril. I wonder why they showed Diver's Dwarf Lady while saying that. It's almost like they are trying to tell us something. <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see a lot of darkness here. I think they call it forced diversity. It's when you put random races from all over the world into a medieval European setting that would warrant a racially homogeneous human population. He's so really? Who would have thought? I guess every single person in existence, except for the dumb caricatures of this crap show. So that was all of the trailer. I really liked how it basically showed us nothing except some CGI nonsense. And some lore that we already all knew, and could be covered in about 20 seconds in one of the episodes. But no worries, there is more. They also released a sneak peek into the making of this amazing new season, with many of our beloved actors adding a few words of wisdom, just in case you haven't come to hate it all well enough yet. As you would expect, the reception of this has been just as great so far. So let's see what these paragons of virtue and intellect have to tell us. This season, Gadgel's being driven more by a bigger purpose, and I feel she's once again becoming connected with Middle-earth and with all the people in it. That's making her quest more important, since Sauron is building his strength. Right. He's been building his strength for an entire season, and hardly anyone in the show ever noticed him. Here we are in Mordor. One of the exciting things about this year is we're going to get to see Sauron out in the open, making everything happen. We'll be able to watch it all unfold. With Durin, his relationship with his father has gone. And no worries, it looks like Diverse Dwarf Lady is coming to the rescue. His pride has taken a massive hit. The darkness did reach him. He's received the biggest blow to his spirit thus far. It gets a little darker. Yeah, once again, the darkness is clearly getting more prominent in this thing. The chessboard's been set, and I am seeing the chess pieces move. The second season, it really feels like the gloves come off. Brace yourself. Set a watch at every crossing. He must not escape. 
Is that Gandalf or an old homeless dude caught off guard? I've had an unexpected visitor. Who'd have thought a ring could have so much power? You should name a show after it. Yeah. The power of rings. <laughs> or what about rings, rings. of power? Rings of power. <laughs> or how about the... Go fuck yourself. And it's just really exciting to finally be back. I'm oh, just so grateful to be a part of it. Oh, I'm sure everyone is very grateful to see you again. They are probably just as enthusiastic as you seem to be. Who wouldn't want to see more of the annoying, bumbling idiots who are hijacking the roles of the franchise's most important characters? Here we are in new territory, new places to visit. I mean, the set is almost too scary to, to, to go in. Well, it looks like Isildur has been sunbathing for the past few decades. Don't look. Someone give that poor hobo some change. He's clearly off his meds. The detail that the craftsmen put in there is incredible. You absolutely get lost when you're here. No surprises there. The creators of this crap fist would probably be able to get lost in their own homes. When you're in costume on the set... It's always a good sign when the employees on the set have blue hair. You're going to discover even more wonderful things to do. We kind of touched on it and teased on it in season one. This time you will see us in all our glory. Trust me, diverse dwarf lady, no one would ever want to touch you or see your glory. There's things that we're doing that are completely new, and you do. We're already seeing them. Like, if you ever wanted to see Elrond in a baseball cap, now you've seen it. Sort of get plunged straight into the story. It's been a long way. Some bad things might have happened. Some good things may have happened. Yeah, the bad things about this show seem to be disproportionately prominent, though. And there's a lot of danger, a lot of excitement, but we're back in Middle-earth. Well, I hope this made you as excited for the new season as I am. Now I'm off to have a good throw-up session, so that's about it for today. Make sure to check out the other stuff on my channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.